Uh, well, one of my deep feelings is that it, there is no God, and it's a bad idea to believe in God, and it's been very harmful. So if that reflects my belief in God, well, <laughs> that's a strange situation. That's one of my deepest convictions, is there is no God. Sometimes Americans will, will say, so you don't believe in God? And I say, that's right, I don't believe in God. And they say, so do you believe in anything? Oh, yes. Do you believe in anything? And I say... I believe in many things, uh, and I don't make jokes to them about I believe in tables and chairs. I say to them, you know, I believe in various ethical causes and political ideas and other aesthetic values, intellectual values, and lots of things that I believe in. And they say, they say, that's all you believe in. I say, that's, that's all I believe in. Don't you believe in something godlike? You don't. Oh, you don't believe in the traditional god. Don't you believe there's something there? And I say, no, there's nothing there. And it's very difficult to get across to people when, who are religious. When, you, that you're, when you're an atheist, you mean you don't believe in anything like that whatsoever. Mm. It's not that you think nature is God or it doesn't have personal qualities or something like that. You don't believe in anything of that type. Any, nothing supernatural, nothing miraculous, nothing superstitious, mm. no ghosts, no telepathy, you know. Nothing of that kind, that's what it's to do with. It's not that I'm picking on God, you know, somehow, or picking on the Christian God and not believing in him. Mm. I'm, it's just nothing of that type. I'd just like to finish with one thing. Here you are, like myself, reluctant to use the word atheist to describe what we are. Mm. It's an accusation rather than, a, yeah. as it were, a conviction. Um, in a country which, in fact, has become more intensely religious... Do you find it difficult to uh, uphold such ideas in the America of the 21st century? Let me say something about the, f the first point, the, the label, the label one has. Yeah, to be called an atheist, it's, it's, a, ne it's a negative view, mm. and it suggests that, that one is a sort of professional atheist. You, know, you spend your life arguing against God, which way, way Russell did. Mm. And I think that's a sort of an undignified and rather pointless <laughs> procedure. Once you decide there isn't a God... You know, there's not much point in inveighing against it mm. unless you think huge harm is being done by the belief in God. But you, don't, you know, nobody spends their time trying to prove to others that the Greek gods don't exist. You know, you just decide that they don't and that's the end of the story for you. So I, would, I like to distinguish atheism from antitheism. Antitheism is opposition to mm. theism. I am an antitheist because I believe that, that religion is harmful. In, to, in human life. So I am an anti-theist. I'm not just an atheist who, who suddenly my only values are that I don't agree with it. I'm actively opposed to it. But then I distinguish that from what I call post-theism or post-atheism, which is the healthy state of mind where you've put all that behind you. Now, we can't do that yet because there's lots of religion in the world and lots of bad results of it. But to me, the ideal society would be one in which the question of religion didn't really arise for people, or if it did, it wasn't a heavy question for them. They would say to, them, to each other, you know, those humans used to believe back there in 2003. Some of them believed there was this God and he did this. Others didn't and they were, did TV programs about why they didn't. What a funny debate that was, you know. Um, so it would be a post-theist society where you just, it wasn't an issue. Mm -hmm.